Hello YouTube, I'm Tom and Brad. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're going to have a look at setting up and using sensors. Who made that door close? So in the G menu, I'm going to find the sensor. There it is there. I'm going to drop that into number one and let's have a closer look at it. Now the correct way around for the sensor is that way so it looks it looks a little bit like a mouth at the bottom and then an eye in the middle it's like a little face looking out over and that's the key thing here the orientation of this is actually that way so there are directions that a sensor picks up in and the directions are left right top bottom front back pretty straightforward but it's not that obvious because when you're looking at this you would think that was left but it's not that's right so think of it as a face if it was going to look to the right it would look that way when an object enters the sensors field it triggers an action and optionally when something leaves that field it can trigger another action now the field is effectively a box around the sensor but at the moment it's invisible and it's very helpful to be able to see this box so let's see if we can switch one on now for this sensor. If I hit F on this sensor to go into its control panel, we can see this is where we can control the size of the field. So these are the directions that I was talking about, left, right, bottom, top, back and front. Now these are all set to five meters at the minute. So our, our sensor box would be approximately 10 by 10, but we can't see it. So I scroll back up here we go to show on hood and when I quit this you'll see nothing nothing seems to change what we need to do is we need to tell our grid in the info panel that we want to see sensor field range so if I put a tick next to that or a dot in the box and we quit let's have a look now up oh, there we go there's our box which is five meters out this way, five meters out this way, and so on, all the way around. So that is our trigger area. And if you listen carefully, when I walk into that area, you can just hear a faint beeping sound to let us know that that sensor has been triggered. So let's see the sort of things we can do with these sensors. I'd like to set up a sensor that will automatically open these hangar doors as I approach. So let's place the sensor down at the side of the door here. Go into its control panel, switch on show on hood. And let's have a look at the size of the area that it's going to pick up. The field area around that sensor is not really big enough. We need it to extend over to roughly where I'm standing and probably all the way over to the side of this door. So let's do that. So first of all, I know it needs to go out to the left. Remember, it's the sensor's left, so that's that way, by quite a bit more. So I'm just going to pull that out. It can come in from the right a bit, because we don't need it to go this far over that way. So we can shrink the right-hand side. The bottom extent, it may need to go down below a bit further. The top extent possibly needs to go up back in the front we want it to come forwards a bit further and the back we don't want it to go back too far let's have a look at what we've got there now bearing in mind that that's a bit of a fiddly way of doing it and really the remote access method is much better let's have a look at our area now well that's actually not too bad so we can see the box reaches oh it's almost to the side of the door and we could see that as we get in we would just come out of the field area and at the top yeah it's just a comfortable height over the top next one i need to do is to make sure that our hangar doors are all in a group they are so let's go back into our sensor and tell it what we wanted to do so we're going to set up some actions now this looks a lot like your hotbar menu and that's basically exactly what it is. Anything you can put into your hotbar on your ship, 
you could put into this system here. So when the sensor is triggered, it would do one of those things as if you were pressing that button on the keyboard when you're in your ship. So you can see here, this first option is when the sensor is triggered. And the second option is when the sensor is effectively untriggered or when you leave the field area. So I'm gonna go into groups, find our hangar doors, I'm going to drop those into the trigger option and when the sensor is triggered I want the doors to open. When I leave the sensor area I want the doors to close. Now it's that simple. Okay now we're returning to base, we trigger our sensor, and the doors open and we can go inside. As I pass over this edge here it should start closing the doors. Now let's set up another sensor. This time we'll use the remote access method to set the sizes for it. Now this sensor is going to switch on all of the lights when I'm anywhere within the base, but as soon as I leave, it'll turn all of the lights off. Now it could be to do anything else. It could be to switch off all of your uh, equipment, or it could be to turn on your air vent to provide oxygen in your base. So I'm gonna place the sensor on the wall here making sure it's the right way around. And then I'm gonna go outside and access that remotely. So from here, I've got a great overview of the whole base. I'm gonna use Shifted K to remotely access my base. Now again, you'll need remote controls and antennas set up to do this. So watch that tutorial if you haven't seen that. So my earth base, I want to go into the terminal. I want to find the highest number sensor. That's the last one that I placed. I want to show on the HUD the field, and then I'm going to start sliding these until I can see the sensor field come out of each of the sides of the building. So the left extent. I can just see it in the background there. I'll go a little bit further so you can see it popping out on the side of the screen. And have that just there. The right extent, we'll see that come out down here. There it is. The bottom, I want it to go a little bit lower than it is. The top needs to come up a bit higher. Then the back is already fine. And the front it needs to go forwards from there, past the edge of this. Now while I'm in there, I'm going to set up the action. And the action is going to be to affect a group and the group is going to be the base lights if I right click on that I'm going to say that I want to toggle the block on when the sensor is triggered and if I right click again I can say to toggle the block off when the sensor is not being triggered so before we test both of these sensors out let's go to a control panel and we'll turn off the field remember to go into info and show sense of field range and remove the mark from that. And now when we look, you should see, there we are, it's just back to normal. Okay, let's test it out. We walk up to the door. The first sensor opens the door for us. If we peek inside, we see the lights aren't on. And then as we walk in, the lights come on and they should be on throughout the whole base wherever we stand. So there are some other options in the sensor control panel. We can turn on or off the audible proximity alert, the beep as we walk into the sensor area. We can tell it to detect players or not. We could tell it to detect ships or not. Large ships, small ships, detect stations. And perhaps we could just have it set to only detect enemies where maybe it would turn on your weapons or detonate a warhead. I hope you found the tutorial useful. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thanks again to all the wonderful new subscribers and all of the comments that I've been getting and the likes as well. It's great. Thanks very much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again soon with some more Space Engineers. See you later.